Hello, crypto boys and ghouls, and welcome back to the channel, Tales from the Cryptmancer, where we feature content on play to earn games on the blockchain, such as Splinterlands. And I just wanted to do a quick follow up video today on our video we published earlier talking about Splinterlands earning strategies after the SPS airdrop ended. And one of those strategies that I talked about was taking advantage of high APRs in liquidity pools or LPs that are currently being offered right now from the Splinterlands team. And you can see here on Peak Monsters, some of those LPs here that we talked about in the three digits right now for some of these pools like SPS Swap Hive and Voucher Swap Hive as an example. And one of the comments that I received on the video just recently came from Air Force One and Air Force One had asked, can we do a video on how to add assets to these liquidity pools? Because it's quite frankly a little confusing, which I agree with. So what I want to do is talk a little bit about how you can get assets out of Splinterlands, the game, into Hive Engine and into these liquidity pools to start earning some of these uh, APRs if you're interested. So the first thing we're going to talk about doing is how to get assets out of Splinterlands into Hive Engine. Now, in this particular case, you can see here I have a whole whopping 0.424 vouchers in my account right now. And I'm going to transfer those out of my Splinterlands account here. And I'm going to put those in Hive Engine so we can add those to liquidity pools to start earning here. So if I go to um, basically the um, SPS tab here, I select the vouchers here. And then I go to transfer. I'm going to select 0.424. I'm going to go to Hive Engine and I'm going to transfer out. It's going to ask me if I want to transfer these vouchers out to Hive Engine. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to sign the transaction with my keychain and then we're going to go into Hive Engine. Now I'll leave the links here for Hive Engine as well as Tribal Decks, which we're going to be using in the video description below so you have access to these. But basically, when you log into this Hive Engine website, you're going to have access to your Hive Engine wallet. You can see here, here's my wallet here on Hive Engine. And let's refresh this here and see if those vouchers made it here, uh, which they did. So I have 1.082 vouchers in my Hive Engine wallet now outside of the game. And I also have 5.23 SPS here. Now you can take SPS out of the game from for example, from your staking rewards using the same tab, just go to the SPS tab instead of vouchers and transfer your SPS to Hive Engine using the same method. So now you can see here, we've got some uh, assets out of Splinterlands into Hive Engine. And now I want to look at how do I put these in the liquidity pools to start earning. And as we saw here previously on Peak Monsters, there's two pools that I can potentially use. One is SPS and Swap Hive and the other is Voucher and Swap Hive. So in this particular case, uh, I have in Hive Engine, I do have Vouchers already, but I, and I do have SPS, but I don't have Swap Hive. So Swap Hive is what is missing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the other website here that's useful for us to get to liquidity here, and that's Tribal Dex. And I'll leave the link to Tribal Dex in the video description below as well. And here I'm looking at Tribal Dex. I've gone to the Pools option. In Diesel Pools, I've gone to the Pools tab here, and I'm doing a search pair. And I'm gonna do a search pair on SPS. And you can see here there's a pool, Swap Hive to SPS here, which is documented. And there's also the other pool that I'm interested in, if I go to Vouchers here, I could spell that right. Uh, you can see here there's a swap hive and voucher pool. Now for me in a hive engine right now I have vouchers and I have SPS. There's not a voucher SPS pool that's adding to liquidity rewards right now. So I need a way to get some swap hive basically to add liquidity to these two pools that I'm interested in. So if I go here to the swap feature of the diesel pool, and I drill down here, and let's say I have vouchers as an example of something that I want to take some of my value in vouchers 
and I want to move that into Swap Hive so I can add it to the liquidity pool. I select the voucher as the from asset, and I'm going to go to the, the asset that I want to move into, which is Swap Hive. And what it's telling me here is I have 1.80, excuse me, 1.082 vouchers. Now, in this particular case for liquidity pools, you need to put in an equal amount, a one to one ratio of value of vouchers and swap high. So what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to uh, swap 0.5, which is roughly uh, half of my voucher balance here because I have one in change. And I'm going to swap 0.5 vouchers and I'm going to swap it into swap high. So it's going to exchange that 0.5 vouchers into roughly 0.4 to swap high. Uh, it's going to have a price impact that's pretty low and a, a slippage fee that's also pretty low. So I'm going to pay some fees to do this, but it's just, you know, fractions of a penny in this case, honestly, so it's not a big deal. So I'm going to go to swap here. I'm going to approve the transaction on the key chain. It's going to go and do the swap using tribal decks. And then once it's complete here in just a second, we will look at our Hive Engine wallet and see what has happened. You can see that the swap has been successful here. I'm going to go into Hive Engine. Now, my balance before here was 1.082 vouchers. I'm going to actually expect that to be around the 0.582 vouchers now since I traded in 0.5 of those. And I'm going to have some swap Hive here in my wallet now instead. Let's take a look. Uh, I do have 0.582 vouchers now, and I do have some swap Hive. You can see here I have about 26 cents of vouchers and 22 cents of swap hive. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add liquidity to the voucher SPS swap hive here in order to get this, in this case, 106% uh, APR. Now obviously the amount here I'm putting in is not a lot, but it's just really more to illustrate um, how to add liquidity to the pool. So I'm going to go to uh, Add liquidity tab under the pools here. I'm going to select the pool voucher in this case, and I'm going to search for the voucher swap hive pool because that's the one that has LP rewards. And I have my balances showing here between voucher and swap hive. In this case, I'm going to max my swap hive um, value here. So I'm going to put all of my current hive here in the liquidity pool and it's also going to include in a one-to-one -one pairing the same value in vouchers which in this case is 0.499 so basically it's going to add the my swap hive plus my vouchers into the liquidity pool i'm going to hit add liquidity confirm it on the keychain and when this transaction is complete that basically 23 cents of vouchers plus 23 cents of uh, Hive is now going to be added to the liquidity pool and of that total value, which is roughly, let's say, 46 cents, I'm going to be earning basically a currently 106% APR there. Now, this value will fluctuate and likely will go on, down over time as more liquidity is added to the pool. So just be aware of that. But for now, for today, on my 43 cents, I'm going to get this 106% APR. Now, to get the daily value here, we could do a quick calculation. Let's say in this case, you know, I've got uh, 43 cents that I've added to the liquidity pool. The APR is 1.0634. So in a given year, I would make 45.7 cents, but on a daily basis, I'm going to earn basically 0.001 cents per day on that uh, 43 cent liquidity pool addition is basically the way that works out. And obviously you need times by 365 to get you know, the full year uh, APR. So there you go. That's roughly the, the quick math on, on how that works. Now we can do the same thing with our SPS here. If we refresh our wallet, you can see here I have 5.23 SPS, which is worth roughly 32 cents. If I go into back to tribal decks and I go to swap and I go select my from token in this case as SPS and I select my to token as hive because I want to take SPS and I want to move some of that into hive so I can add it to the liquidity pool. You can see here my balance on SPS is 5.23. I'm going to take um, roughly half of that to convert it to hive 
In this case, it's going to be about 2.61 um, SPS into Hive. It's going to make basically 0 0.302 Hive when I swap here. We're going to do this swap quickly. We're going to check our balance after it completes in Hive Engine to see that I've exchanged roughly half of my SPS into Swap Hive to add to the liquidity pool because, again, I need um, one to one ratios of both SPS and Hive to add to that liquidity pool to get the APR that I'm looking for. So now I have 2.62 SPS and I have 0.302 Swap Hive, roughly 16 cents of each. And again, the APR that I'm looking to capture here is this 166% APR on SPS and Swap Hive. So if I go back into Tribal Dex, I go into Add Liquidity, I select the right pool, which is the SPS Swap Hive pool, and then I select the max value for Swap Hive. So I'm going to add, um, actually, I need to select the max value yeah, of Swap Hive. So I put the Swap Hive value here at 0 0.30289. So my entire Hive balance here is going to take uh, 2.6 of my 2.62 SPS, and it's gonna add it to the liquidity pool in a one-to-one -one pairing. And I'm gonna approve that, and there we go. It's added to the liquidity pool, and now I'm earning that APR on the liquidity pool. Again, Splinterlands doesn't have the UI in the game yet added where I can claim the daily rewards and claim those uh, SPS points, but ideally what I would do is once they add that to the game, I would go to that tab within Splinterlands, claim my daily rewards, similar to how I claim my daily SPS staking rewards. I'm going to get that SPS in game here. And then in that, with that SPS in game, I can do other things with it. For example, I could do the same thing as I get SPS from those LPs on a daily basis. I could go in and keep adding that SPS that I'm getting to the liquidity pools to continue to compound that into earnings passively for SPS. Or perhaps I could take that SPS I'm earning convert it to DEC and buy cards with it, pretty much free rolling uh, cards as an example. So that's how you do it. If at any point in the future um, I wanted to remove liquidity, basically remove my SPS and my Hive or my vouchers from the pools, I would use this remove liquidity tab here. I would go there and basically say I want to remove uh, liquidity. I want to get some of that uh, reclaim some of that SPS or vouchers or Hive back into my Hive Engine wallet. When I do so, uh, it'll basically exchange it on the current value of SPS, vouchers, and Hive and give me that back into my Hive Engine wallet, which I can then do whatever I want. Just be aware, though, of the concept of impermanent loss. As soon as I remove liquidity from those pools and get my tokens back, uh, basically, uh, I am using the current value of the, the tokens that are in that liquidity pool. So I would then go from impermanent loss to potentially permanent loss, depending on the price of the assets that I put originally into the pool versus when I withdrew that. But this video is not gonna cover the topic of impermanent loss. If you are curious about that, there are some really good videos uh, in the Switzerland's community and the crypto community in general, talking about DeFi and liquidity pools and impermanent loss and all of that. So we won't go into that here. Just know that you can use Tribal Dex to then get your tokens back out of the liquidity pool and put them in your Hive Engine wallet to do whatever you want in the future. So there you go, a quick and dirty uh, guide to liquidity pools on Hive Engine. This doesn't cover uh, the liquidity pools, for example, here for SPS BNB, for example, on the BNB chain. For that, you would wanna use uh, like a MetaMask wallet for the BNB chain and probably use PancakeSwap to go in and out of those pools on BNB. But again, that's a separate chain that we're not gonna go into today. If you are curious on how to use MetaMask and PancakeSwap, there are a lot of videos on that. Um, but if you would like to see that, I can certainly do that in the future. Just let me know in the comments below. And again, I hope this has been helpful and informational for you if you are unaware of how to do this on Splinterlands, move assets out of the game into the liquidity pools and start earning that juicy APR. So there you go, there you have it. Enjoy, and until next time, keep stacking those stats.